Since launching Camera to Cloud 18 months ago, we have heard from so many of you around the world about how impactful it's been to your work. Glenn Ficarra, the director of the hit series We Crash, said, Camera to Cloud has revolutionized our work. We can now view a rough cut of a scene before people even get dailies on other platforms. But it's not just films. Sports teams, such as the Golden State Warriors, are getting clips live from a game out to social media in minutes. And Red Bull Media House has shared that Camera to Cloud has allowed their team to decentralize post-production workflows for multiple outlets across countries and continents. We are super grateful for the dozens of partners who have joined the C2C Connections program, enabling a wide range of products to send assets directly to Frame.io. Today is an exciting day. We have two major new partners joining the C2C program, and I'd love to show you. That's right, the RED V-Raptor, V-Raptor XL, and Fujifilm X-H2S cameras will be the first cameras to natively upload to Frame.io with no additional hardware required. Fujifilm plans to launch in 2023, and the RED V-Raptor and V-Raptor XL will be available later this year. To tell you more, I'd like to introduce Senior Director of Innovation, Michael Cioni. Thank you, Emery. This is what we've been waiting for, a future that doesn't require shipping hard drives, a seamless connection from camera to post. Fujifilm X-H2S can upload raw stills and the Red V-Raptor and V-Raptor XLs can upload 8K raw or any flavor of ProRes directly to Frame.io with no additional hardware. In fact, you can do both at the same time. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna ask Liz to join me up here and actually connect this Raptor XL to Frame.io from scratch. We're gonna start in the media menu. From there, we see an entirely new way to connect to the cloud through network offload. We can enable that, and we see Frame.io as an option for connection. Once we hit connect, we get a six-digit code. Liz can now lift up her phone, and this is the Frame.io iOS app where she can enter that six-digit code. What's happening is Frame.io is establishing a secure connection link with the Raptor. We can see the red Raptor XL serial number. You see Liz's user and the destination folder where all her assets will populate. From there, she hits authorize, and we're done. That easily, we can connect everything to the cloud, and we could shoot a take. Don't think of the cloud as being solely about speed. Think about how the cloud increases flexibility and control. Imagine your camera raw and still files being instantly backed up and accessible through Frame.io's collaboration tools to anyone without downloading or shipping. As bandwidth continues to improve, the expectation of instant access to media will become a standard in every single workflow, and Frame.io Camera to Cloud unlocks it all. What we're seeing right here is the first ever automatic transmission of an 8K RAW file and ProRes file with every ounce of available camera metadata. So you'll be able to upload your still, video, RAW, and proxy files directly into Frame.io straight from these cameras. We cannot wait to see how productions utilize this new workflow to unlock an entire new world of creative control.